Hey you guys, so I'm Peter and welcome to Soul Talk. I really appreciate you spirit souls for tuning in every week, man. It has been an amazing journey, an amazing ride, an amazing start of the September, I tell you. And so, we will begin, shall we? So today, this reading is going to be for the Virgo. So the Virgo has been doing great. Virgo has been doing great. The Virgo has been, you know, planting the seeds and harvesting from those seeds. And, you know, although, you know, they had some haters. They had some haters um, last month. But they were triumphant in it. And they continue to push forward. So we're going to go ahead and see what the answers is have for the Virgo. So go ahead. If you guys like the content on this page, go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys tuning in week after week. And we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the Virgos. I tell you, boy. This new energy has been amazing. And I can't wait for this moon ritual this weekend. Woo! Yes. All right, Virgo. Let's see. Let's see, Virgo. Let's see, Virgo. Ancestors, what do you have for the Virgo? All right. All right, Virgos. All right, so Virgos, it's time. So Virgos, it's the steer. And what this is telling me is that there's something that you are not looking past and you need to look past this situation because this situation is blocking these blessings that you got going on. Virgo, you guys got this, all right? You guys have a great handle on this. You know, you're stable, you're logical thinkers. I know, you know, we all go through things, but this situation, you don't even need to focus on this situation anymore. This situation is long gone. This situation is of your past. Like, leave that old energy behind. That's what we talked about, removing those blockages. Go ahead and leave that old energy behind. Because as long as you keep these blinders on, it's going to prevent you from seeing the things ahead. And there are so many wonderful things ahead for you, Virgo. But you have to see past the situation, okay? You guys got to look past it. That's the only way forward, actually. If you don't look past it, you're going to remain in this energy. And you do not want to remain in this energy. You want to you want to reap the benefits of the universe. What the universe has outlined for you. You know, you guys are supposed to be reaping what you sow, you know. And... As long as you're maintaining this energy, you're not going to get past this current situation. And because you're not getting past it, you're not able to move on into your next blessing. So you guys are going to have to take, you know, take steps, take the appropriate steps of moving past this energy. Okay. So you got to see beyond this because this is not the end all be all. This is just an obstacle in a way trying to prevent you from getting what the universe has for you. So take the blinders off. Go ahead. See past it, okay? Retreat and recharge. Take a break. You, you've been going nonstop, Virgo. Take a break. That's why this situation occurred. You need to be a hermit. You see the hermit? You need to take a break and recharge. Because if you don't, you're going to burn yourself out. Yes, you're supposed to be blessed, all right? You're supposed to be receiving these blessings. And you're supposed to be getting all this stuff, but you have to take a break. You have to make some time for you, Virgo. If you don't make time for you, you're going to burn out, and then you're not going to be able to get anything to anybody else. So you need to take some time out for yourself, Virgo. I don't want you to burn out, Virgo. So retreat and recharge. The ancestors are telling you to retreat. Yes, this is a stumbling block. You want to figure this thing out. You don't want to stop until you get this thing figured out, but you need to retreat, recharge, come back to the table with a fresh mind, a new way of thinking, all right? Once you come back to the table with that, then you'll be able to see past it, move on, and then continue what it is that you were doing. But because you, you're not focused, you're not clear, you're just going, 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 you're stuck. 
and you need to get unstuck, Virgo, okay? Once you get unstuck, the air gun, once you get unstuck, the air gun is going to come in, and that's gonna, that's what's going to be able to shift your perspective, okay? So, this recharge is necessary for you, Virgo. You have to recharge in order to shift your perspective on this, because maintaining this perspective, maintain, I'm sorry, maintaining this perception is, is what's holding you back, okay? So, you need to change all, you need to change all of that. So go ahead, recharge, get out of that way of thinking, look at it from a different perception, all right? Once you do that recharge, you'll be able to see it clearer. You'll be able to see it from a different line of sight. You'll be able to see it from a different angle. And then you'll be able to get the answers that you need in order for you to move forward, in order for you to move past that, okay? So you're going to have to recharge though, Virgo. Because you, right now, it's not time for you to be stuck in this. Right now, it's time for you to go ahead and say, all right, let me take a, let me take a quick break. Let me shift gears. Let me, let, me, let me think this thing through, you know, and then get back on track, all right? I'm not saying stay in that recharge, like retreat and recharge and then continue. Not retreat, recharge, stay in it, follow, you know, don't do all that. Retreat, recharge, so you can see it from a different perspective different perception, and get back in the game, all right? She will, and then unleash the wild within. Hey, all right, so once you do all of that, once you recharge, come back, see it clear, then guess what? You're going to unleash the beast, baby. You're going to unleash that beast, and it's going to be even bigger and better than it was before, all right? You just need time to get your, get your head in the game. You just need time. You just need to... You just, I'm not saying take a extended break. I'm saying take a quick break, take quick pause, like a vacation or something, you know, three days to yourself, not dealing with any of this, whatever this situation is, not dealing with any of it. And then boom, you're back in the game. That she wolf going to come out because y'all know y'all have it. That she wolf going to come out and you're going to unleash the wow. And when you unleash it, it's going to be bigger and better than you ever thought it was going to be. It's going to be so big. You're not going to know what to do with it. You might need help doing it. That's that's how big I'm feeling that it's gonna be. I'm telling you. And look, right in front of that moon. So you take this little break next day or two, and then when that moon hit, you unleash the wild within. You know, recharge, you reset, you good, you 24 hours off, 18 hours off, just just a quick break, you know, time to decompress. Get that little decompression mode in, and then bam, you're back on track, Virgo. Back like you never left, Virgo. See, that's what I'm talking about. Virgo been had it good, but Virgo done burnt themselves out. Clarify Virgo for me, please. Virgo, y'all been having it made in the shade. Y'all been doing good. Y'all been doing everything that the answers told y'all to do. You know? Everything. You know, and y'all been reaping the benefits of what the ancestors done laid out for you guys. Ancestors done did a, laid out a roadmap, and y'all following it to the T. You know, but now, now you're, you're stuck. And I wouldn't necessarily say stuck, but you're conflicted. You're conflicted with something. You're conflicted with an idea, something that you want to move ahead into. You want to go full speed ahead into it. But right now, because you're congested, because you're conflicted with it, it's hard for you to move ahead in this thing. And you can't move ahead in this thing unless you recharge and reset. You have to reset your mind, reset your way of thinking, reset your, per reset your perception of it. And then once you reset your perception of it, it's going to be... It's going to be magnificent. That she wolf going to come out, and there's nothing that no one going to be able to do about it. You're going to be out there. Boom, 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 boom. And this thing, this business, this this um, job, this this relationship, this, uh, this endeavor, this channel, this everything that you're thinking about, whatever it is that you're working on, your, your business, your book, your children, your home life, it's going to be bigger and better than ever. Something that you never thought was possible. And it's going to be like, wow. You're just not going to know how to handle it. Yep, see? Here it is. Saying you've been suffering in silence. So you ain't been talking to nobody about this issue either. You may want to... I think that this is good. You know, not talking, not expressing so much to everybody. Looking to 
you know, the creator for, you know, looking to yourself, looking within, you know, just trying to find a solution to it. You don't need to involve everybody in this. This matter is not so big that you can't handle it on your own, you know. But, you know, talking talking to yourself, you know, looking within, doing some soul searching, doing some spiritual cleansing, you know, like it should only take a day or two. Probably not, probably not even a full day, honestly. It shouldn't even take a full day. But you want to get after this. So that you can reap the benefits of what the universe has for you. So, yes, you've been suffering, but here's that nine, you know. You see that big, magnificent nine? That means, yes, the suffering will not go in vain. You just got to figure out what it is that, you know, you need to change about this thing. You might need to rearrange some things. But in order to just figure it all out, like, just, you have to decompress. You're going to have to decompress, Virgo. And... Then the she-wolf, you're going to see it all. You're going to see it all. You're going to be able to do it all. You're going to be able to accomplish it all. But you you also have to just consider your health, you know, and just take that really quick break. And I'm not saying don't take no week off, Virgo. We don't have a week. And we just got a couple days. Get a couple days, recharge, get off to yourself. Like I said, some rituals, some cleansing. Um, some cleansing rituals. We got the moon coming. You can do a moon ritual. You know, do some meditations, some affirmations, whatever it is. Even if it just need to be three hours, just so you can just get off to yourself and think. And then you're going to benefit in a way that you never would have thought. All right? So, I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Go ahead and hit like, comment, subscribe. Leave, um, if you want to inbox me, you can. You can inbox me on the little YouTube inbox messenger thingy. And I really appreciate you guys, spirit souls. And thank you for listening to Soul Talk. All right?